Hello and welcome to this video edition of Buzz. As you can see from the radar view, the weather across the UK is quite mixed at the moment. In the north are outbreaks of rain, but in southern and central counties it's mainly dry, warm and sunny, although it is quite windy. So how are things shaping up during the rest of this week and beyond? Well, I'll start off by quickly running through the uh, GFS uh, pressure and upper air temperature sequence for the coming days. At the moment, you can see that we've got yellows shading over the southern half of the UK with greens further north. Uh, the yellows indicate the warmer air mass with the uh, greens indicating cooler, cooler air. Let's see what happens in the coming days as I run this sequence. What you should be able to see is that the yellows are steadily feeding northwards and by Wednesday, uh, the, the, by Wednesday, the whole of the UK is under a warm air mass. And so we could see temperatures even in the northern half of the UK rising quite nicely by then. So will it be the warmest day of the year so far? Yeah, it looks very possible. In fact, if I jump across to the temperature predictions from the Meteo France model, what we can see is that on Wednesday afternoon, uh, with temperatures in, in southern and central areas are hitting uh, 27 Celsius, so 81 Fahrenheit. And even in northeastern Scotland, we're seeing values as high as 21 Celsius, so 70 Fahrenheit, which is significantly warmer than it has been there recently. Now, what happens beyond Wednesday? Well, if I jump back to the GFS animation and uh, start it again, watch these green, uh, green shadings out for west here in the Atlantic with this area of low pressure. And let's see what happens. So you can see that by the weekend, the cooler Atlantic air has, has pushed right across the UK uh, and high pressure has um, pulled away southwards, uh, leaving, leaving a much more changeable picture across, across, across all parts of the country. So we could be seeing some showers or long spells of rain and temperatures will be back down to uh, where they should be at this time of year. Um, so much, much more typical for, for late May. So is that the end of the fine and settled weather? Well, probably not. If we take a look at the GEFS plot, which goes out to 16 days, uh, we, can see, we can see the warmth in the short term, which I've been discussing just there. Temperatures then take a tumble and the risk of rain increases. So that's, that's towards the end of this week, as, as, as I mentioned. But then look what happens next week, at least on this plot, which is for London and Southern counties. You'll see upper air temperatures start to increase again and the risk of rain decreases. So it's looking like at least in southern counties it will probably warm up again and turn drier again next week. Now if I just show you the comparable plot for Glasgow, so a northwestern location, you can see the warmth during the coming days, as I said, that upper air, uh, that warmer upper air will spread northwards. Uh, but then next week, there is, a, there is a weak signal there for it to turn warmer again. But also, if you look across the bottom axis, there's, a, there's an ongoing signal for, uh, for rain or, or, or showers. So it is looking more changeable in the northwest. So there we have it. To summarise, in the short term, it's going to warm up. And by Wednesday, the fine conditions should spread northwards across virtually the whole of the UK. Could well turn out to be the warmest day of the year so far, with temperatures in the south hitting 27 Celsius, 81 Fahrenheit perhaps even 28 Celsius locally. By the weekend, it turns more changeable in all parts of the UK as cooler air from the Atlantic returns. Then next week, there are signs of it turning warmer and drier again, at least in southern counties, but the northwest may stay more mixed. That's it. Thanks for watching.